Aegeus was the son of King Pandion of Athens and the father of the hero Theseus. Now, this guy had married twice already and was without children. He was a little bothered by that as, you know, having kids back then was important if you were royalty. He decided to go see the Delphic Oracle, but her visions only confused him even more. She told him to not untie his wineskin until he reached home. Now, being totally confused about this and not getting any help from the Oracle, he sought advice from his friend Pythias. Now, this guy was shrewd, and he understood that what the Oracle was getting at was that Aegis would father a heroic son. This was something that Pythias saw as a great opportunity and got his friend Aegis drunk and let him sleep with his daughter Ethra. Now, the next day, Aegis woke up from his drunken stupor and realized what he did and, and what it meant. And he left his sandals and sword under a large boulder and told Ethra that if she was to have a son that could move the boulder and retrieve the sword and the sandals, that she should send this son to him. And this was how Theseus was reunited with his father. In the meantime, though, Aegis returned home and eventually married the sorcerer Medea, whose powers had alerted her to Theseus, and she used her powers to thwart Theseus in lieu of her own son. At the suggestion of Medea, Theseus was sent to fight the wild bull of Marathon, which he captured alive. It was then that Aegis truly recognized his heroic son. Aegis continued to have bad luck, which led to his own demise, as Theseus and seven boys and seven girls were sent to Crete as tribute to feed the Minotaur each year, as was customary. I mean, we still do that these days, don't we? He told Theseus that if he was successful in killing the Minotaur, to fly a white flag, and to fly a black flag if he was unsuccessful. Theseus, caught up by his adventures in the labyrinth, forgot his agreement with his father, and his ships were sighted on the way home, and Aegis saw the black flag flying, that he was so distraught that he threw himself off the Athenian Acropolis to his death. 